And now onto our dinosaur of the day, Griffoceratops, which was a request from Phil via Patreon, so thanks. It was a leptoceratopsid ceratopsian, it's a mouthful, that <laughs> lived in the Cretaceous in what is now Alberta, Canada. Its name means griffin horned face. I was thinking that with griffo. Yeah. Only the holotype has been found. It consists of a partial right lower jaw. But it was found in the Milk River Formation in Dinosaur Provincial Park. It was named in 2012 by Michael Ryan, David Evans, Philip Curry, Caleb Brown, and Don Brinkman. And the type species is Griffoceratops morrisoni. It was herbivorous. It's the oldest known leptoceratopsid, but also one of the most advanced. And leptoceratopsids are closely related to neoceratopsians, but they're more primitive and usually smaller. So in other words, it occurs early in the geological record, so it's older than the other ones, but it has some features that you'd expect to see in more derived ceratopsians. That's pretty interesting. Mm -hmm. We see that from time to time, like one little offshoot just happens to evolve a bunch of new features, even though it's pretty early geologically speaking. Yeah, and then you get the headlines like, this kind of dinosaur evolved, evolved this feature twice. Yeah, that's true. That would be a good headline. A little bit less sensational. Oh, I think I've seen that headline. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah, it's hard. I mean, it's hard to really base a new species on just part of a right lower jaw. That's not as diagnostic as you'd like it to be for a new species. No, I do like the name, though. Yeah, it is a good one. Because there's not much known about it, it's not clear how big it was, but it might be the smallest known adult ceratopsian from North America. Assuming that the bone that we have is from an adult or that we can project properly the entire body size of the animal from a jaw. Mm. It's a little tricky. Yeah. 